Hi, welcome to the Brocade Campus Feature Explainer Series. I'm Terry Henry. Uh, today we're going to have a look at a situation where you require the same IP subnet on multiple VLANs. Uh, so we call this IP follow VE. Um, and so normally if you try to apply the same IP subnet to multiple VEs, uh, the device would give you an error and say there is a, a um, subnet overlap. Um, but in this case, we want that to happen, uh, maybe to conserve IP addresses um, or, you know, who knows why. But there, there definitely are situations where this is a requirement. Um, and so what we do to configure it is we create a VLAN and assign a VE to it with an IP address, right? So in this case, VLAN 10 with an IP address of 10.1.1.1 slash 24. And then on our remaining VLANs, 20, 30, 40, we're going to create a VE. And rather than assigning an IP address on the VE, we're going to just tell it to follow VE 10. So whatever IP address is on VE 10 will also apply to VLAN 20, VLAN 30, VLAN 40, uh, etc. So you don't have to have these all follow the same one, right? They could follow different. And the best practice says this VLAN with the IP address should actually be you know, not a production VLAN. So um, it should be something that, that doesn't normally have production traffic on it, and then your other VEs follow that one. Okay, so let's have a look at how that gets done. So here we're on our console. We'll go to config T. And what we're going to do is we're going to create our VLAN. So VLAN 10, uh, we're going to tag E1 slash 2 slash 1. Okay, uh, and then router interface. VE10. Okay, so uh, I now have an interface called VE10. So if I go to interface VE10, I can assign an IP address to it 10.1.1.1/24. Uh, .1 .1 um, okay, so I now have a VE show interface uh, VE10. So we have our interface VE10. It's up and up, uh, and here's his IP address 10.1.1.1/24. Okay. So what I want to do now is I'm going to create my other three VLANs. So I'm going to create VLAN 20, uh, tag E1 slash 2 slash 1, router interface VE 20, uh, and I'll just create the rest while I'm here. 30, tag this, router interface VE 30, and then VLAN 40, Tag E1 slash 2 slash 1, router interface VE40. Okay, so I now have all these VEs created. So normally what I would do is I would go into each one of those VEs and assign it an IP address, right? But if I tried to assign an IP address in the same subnet, so say I wanted it to be 10.1.1.2 slash 24, the device is going to give me an error and say that there's a subnet overlap. So what I want to do in this case is I want to use the same router address. I want to use 10.1.1.1 uh, in the same subnet for, th for this other VLAN. So I'm going to do a um, IP follow VE10. Okay. And I'm just going to go to all of the others and do the same thing. And so they're all going to follow 10. Oops. Okay, so now if I look at my running config here, I've got my VLANs created, and then if I look at my VEs, here's this VE, and then everyone else is following 10. So whatever IP address applies here will also apply to those. So uh, how do we know that's working? If I do a uh, show interface VE20, for example, you will see that its IP address is actually 10.1.1.1 slash 24. So it is in the same subnet. So devices in this VLAN will, will, um, could use 10.1.1.1 as their default gateway, and it will still route normally. Um, okay, so that's it for that. Fairly straightforward command. Um, not a lot of options here, but whatever uh, applies to, to VE10 will apply to VE20 going forward and 30 and 40. All right, so thanks for joining and take care.